Hello everybody, Chris here again, Friendly Frenzy Games, back with another mission in Teardown here. Just completely ripping through this campaign, knocking off all of the objectives in each one of these missions. Takes a lot longer to do it this way, but again, I hate having to circle back in games when we don't necessarily have to. I don't know we're going to be able to keep this up, but we've got a pretty good streak going right now. So, if you're looking for full solutions to these missions, definitely skip to the end of the video. If you want to see how we set up to get all of the objectives, I would recommend that you watch um, kind of through the entirety of these or just kind of skip through. But again, we will have kind of timestamps towards the end if you're looking specifically for the setup or sorry for the solution. But let's dig into the next one that we have on tap here in our campaign. If you remember from yesterday, we learned a couple of things about this game that we didn't know before. We unlocked a couple of new tools. I think maybe actually just one. What did we unlock? Yeah, we unlocked the gun. We already had the shotgun. Um, obviously can't really afford to upgrade a whole lot of things right now. We are going to save this 465 just to see kind of if it makes more sense to upgrade our planks, our pipe bombs, or our gun. But up to that, we have everything else already upgraded. Um, we have a perfect score of 30 right now. You can see that we get our next rank and presumably our next tool at rank 40. So that's going to be another 10 objectives here. But again, with all of the missions that we've completed to date, um, we you can only have a score of 30. Um, yeah, so let's pop into this. So another job for Gordon Wu. It's been a little while here. Let's see what he's got for us. It looks like it might be destruction finally. A lot of these ones have been kind of heist based. We're always kind of stealing something. Mind you, there is some destruction in order to be able to kind of complete our setup and to make our getaway a little easier, but we have not had a pure destruction one in a little while. So hopefully this one we can just come up with a really cool way to do some crazy destruction, but we will see. So this one here is I still don't know, but Lee found out about the cars and totally overreacted. Just saved the life of those poor cars and he goes completely mental and vandalizes my property. Um, good thing I'm properly insured. I've thought about ways to get back at him and finally nailed it. The iconic water tower at Lee Chemicals. His grandfather built it with his bare hands and since has become a symbol for the entire Lee family. They even use it as their logo type. Okay. So making that tower a little less tall would be suitable, more suitable for the man that he is. Love it. Sounds awesome. So this mission is called the tower. Again, our last um, mission we actually just went through and completed in Lee Chemicals. Again, we said that we had met, um, finished up heavy lifting here. You can see completed all the objectives for this one. So this is just one primary objective plus the four optional or secondary targets. This one here, we only have one objective. So this is probably just a pure destruction. So that is awesome. Remove the upper part of the tower. That's all we're doing in this. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Very much looking forward to it. What do we got? Some bombs? They're giving us the objects even. Okay. Fire alarm. So large fires will trigger the alarm. That's probably not a big deal as long as we make it back to our fire escape. Or as long as we make it back to our escape vehicle. But realistically, we could probably just do this with these two machines here. So let's just try that. Gonna pop right in. That way we're not gonna trip any alarms. We could probably come up with a cooler way to do it. But there's an achievement to... Um, complete a mission without using tools and i believe if we use these things here this isn't considered tools so we should be fine but let's see if we can get that in this process whoa, whoa, whoa. Fuck it there. again you can see though they've got conveniently a truck loaded up with some propane cylinders here well, definitely, once we get into, like, once we've beat the main campaign and stuff, we're definitely going to come through here and, like, try and come up with cooler ways to get the job done maybe a little bit more efficiently, but... Oh, that's going to be... Yeah, that's too tall for us with this thing. And that crane is probably not going to work either. It's probably going to be too tall. But let's just quickly see... Again, it doesn't really matter with this. Um, we don't have the wired alarms, so that's all good. Again, we know, because we have a car back here. I'm just trying to look, because we know as soon as that fire alarm trips, I would imagine, I don't know if it works the exact same as the security or the wired alarm one does, wherein we have 60 seconds once the um, 
alarm is activated to get out of there. I'm just thinking though, like if we blow this truck up, we're gonna need to make sure we can get back here on time. And like realistically though, like even these propane tanks, we basically have to level this tower enough. Like, I mean, we have to figure out a good way to be able to get, um, I wonder actually if this crane would lift the truck. That would be awesome. Let's try that. Sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought. Actually, I forgot that we have bombs and stuff here too. But I'm curious though, like this is gonna be pretty crazy, but this would be very awesome if this could happen. If we could get the, tr the crane to lift this truck up to the tower, and then if we could just explode it, we could use a gun or something to explode the propane. That would be a pretty cool way to go. So all of a sudden I'm gonna end up using tools just because I, uh, this this boom might actually be taller than I thought. Yeah, we might actually be able to do enough damage with this. We'll see, we'll see how we go. I don't wanna make any promises I can't keep here. Just, usually we get stuck on wires and stuff like that, but they let us just go right through. So you can see with this, uh, it's still actually very tall. Okay. So let's try this here. Let's just try this here. Let's see. I'm gonna quick save just because. But I wanna see if we can pick this truck up with this crane. Whoop. Just gonna clip onto that debris. So we have the truck. Of course, that's gonna send the propane everywhere, though. That makes total sense. I was just hoping it wasn't gonna work like that. Okay. That doesn't really help us. That doesn't really help us. And we can't lift it higher than this, so that really wasn't gonna work from the beginning. But actually, I guess really all we need to do is pump through that duct. So we can put a bomb up there. Let's try that. Let's try that. Oh god. I don't know if we can throw it that high. Let's try this. Oh. I don't know how that didn't explode. Oh, look at this. Okay. Not sure really if there's anything that we can... I don't know if that's what we're really getting, because we already have, obviously, machinery. This isn't any taller. It'll do a lot of damage. This is going to be more so if we want to take the tower out from the bottom, but I think because it's hooked up to the vent and stuff still, it's still going to be... Yeah. We'll have to see. I have no idea, because it's been so long since we've done just a pure destruction mission, I have no real idea what to expect for this, so... Again, like, we don't really know how the fire alarm works. If it gives us 60 seconds to get around or not. Maybe it's less time. Maybe it's more time. But realistically, we could probably take this little tower out just by severing the connection at the bottom. And then we might have to just dislodge it from the vent on top. So let's just... Vehicle is getting pretty ripped up, but that's the idea. Okay, cut through all that right now. Okay, so that's gonna be a little bit of a sticking point. Just use some propane tanks and see if we can do enough damage there. Actually, I keep forgetting we have these bombs. Let's just use. Uh, I want to see if I can get that achievement. If I can. I'm gonna be careful with that though. Okay, so you can see, ooh, this already wants to fall. So we might not actually have to sever that connection up top there, as long as we can just dislodge it from the back. Oh yeah, it's already caving in on itself. Okay, it's got a little bit of a lean. So the one problem actually that we're gonna have that I didn't think about is that it's going to just lean on this building now. So that makes a lot of sense. 
But again, not something that I accounted for. So ideally, we will just continue chopping the, the uh, legs out from here and get it you know, a little bit more towards us, I think would be the plan. I just don't know if we're gonna be able to get it to sway over there anymore. Let's use this. Just drop this bad boy in the, actually we might need that truck. I'll just drop this truck. Probably not even, as, I don't even know if that's going to be usable, but it doesn't really matter. Actually, let's just use this until we can anymore. Just got to be careful because I don't want it to get in our way. But that does a good amount of damage. Let's see, it just kind of chops the legs out a little bit there. We're going to do enough damage on its right side to get it to lean a little bit more that way. So that's going to be kind of the game plan so that it doesn't lean into the other buildings there. I'm going to be able to just do this one quickly. Even if we can get it to fall forward, it wouldn't be that bad. Probably get it to be that. Shot on this front side. But again, we're getting it to kind of lean towards this other side that we don't necessarily want. They wanted just the top of this building off, but uh, we're taking it all the way here. Again, like this destruction isn't really going as I planned. Everything that I was trying to do didn't really work out. I keep getting too busy trying to just demolish everything. But that's easy enough. Look at that. We didn't even trip a. Did not even trip a. Uh, what do you call it? Didn't even trip um, an alarm because we didn't use fire, right? So that makes total sense. All in a day's work here. Pop in the van and we can peace out. So apparently the vehicles are considered tools, unless we kind of subconsciously used a tool. I don't think we did, but maybe we did. But I did not get the achievement for pumping that without a tool. So we got that one objective out of the way. Nice and easy. Heavy lifting. That's just a thank you. I don't really care so much for these ones. We're not getting any missions attached. So, okay, so we do have one here. Lawrence Lee Jr. Gordon really took this one step too far. You probably heard it on the news, but he hit my tower, the Lee Tower. My poor grandfather's probably turning in his grave right now. Cost me a fortune to rebuild that. I need to get back at Gordon. He's so loaded with money that whatever I do, he can just pay someone to fix it. Um, and just kind of as that side note, we have not gone up in money here. So I guess the missions are just the missions. We're not actually getting paid. So I don't know kind of as a side note why our guy would be doing this, but we are who we are, I guess. Um, the only way to get to him is to strike where his fat wallet can't protect him. His precious art collection. Some of these paintings would also make a nice contribution to the restoration um, fund for my new tower. Okay. So this mission is called Fine Arts. Let's see what we got here. I think this is a new area. No, it's not. Oh, another loaded objective here. So this one... Um, there's four primary targets and only two optional, so this one's going to be pretty interesting. I would imagine with this one, we're likely trying to be, well, yeah, we are. We, we're stealing at least four. We're stealing at least four pieces of art. I would imagine the rest of the objectives are just to steal an additional two. So this is going to be very similar to the last mission that we completed here, um, with the cars. And dipping them in the water. Um, our getaway vehicle right now is a boat. So we're going to have to have a safe exit down in here. Okay, fire alarm and wired alarm boxes. We're pretty comfortable with what those are all about right now, but you can see. So here are all of the available targets. So they don't stipulate which ones we need to steal versus which ones we, you know, um, can steal. As opposed to, you know what I mean, like making them a required target or an optional. You can steal any four out of the six to pass the mission. Um, or you can steal all of them to complete all of the objectives. So we'll have to see here. I would have, I would imagine that all of these are going to be hooked up to wired boxes. Again, they're all in buildings right now though. So it's going to make it pretty hard to see whether or not we have these red flashing lights. So we're just going to do what we've done in the past and just make our way around here and see what we've got going on. Because if there's any that we can steal, 
before having to come up with a plan to steal them, it's a lot easier to get them out of the way before uh, time starts ticking. Time starts uh, ticking down. So we're gonna make our way to this jeep thing over here. I keep kind of looking at the map because there's a lot to look at. But let's get our jeep, and we can maybe have a look at these three kind of buried in the corner here, all along the racetrack. Um, what do we got? So our first one is just in the garage over here. So let's see Just scoot down this ramp This thing brings back some good memories That was quite a mission the car wash was quite a mission okay, What do we got here? So we know that these cars are super fast So that's gonna be good. We know now too that this is hooked up. Here's one of the paintings here. It is hooked up to a wire. So again, gonna hopefully see. These things probably aren't the easiest to steer, but they're very fast. So it's gonna help us make up a lot of ground. You can see that these are a lot more spread out than um, some of the previous objectives and stuff that we've had. And again, too, if we're not gonna be able to do anything um, to make them closer or easier to get. This might come down to just a lot of driving at this point. Where is this one? Okay, it's just hooked up right there. Okay. So with that, I'm just going to knock this wall out. Be a little careful here. Cognizant of where this box is. Don't want to sever the wire, but if we can, just kind of drive by and scoop this. That'll be pretty nice. So I'm just gonna mark this really quickly with a spray can, just so we know that it's right here. Because if we choose to use this one back here as our starting point, we know that we basically just have to drive to here. I don't know for sure that's what the plan is gonna be at this point, but we'll see. I should have marked this other one too, just so we know where exactly it's at, but we're gonna go back here too. And see what this, okay, so they, this grass is gonna be a killer. We don't wanna be on the grass if it's at all possible when it comes time to driving and we that makes sense based on what we were doing before in our other mission there because it took us a little while to clear the grass i really didn't want to just based on how long it was going to take but it was super worth it super worth it because we wasted a lot of time trying to get through there i'm just looking really quickly for some valuables while we're in here can't open those you can see we found something worth 20 bucks it's not really much but of course he's got a painting and a sauna why not okay so what's on the other side of this this is just on the outside yeah at least this is all wood that's really helpful okay so that's nice and easy i don't want to blow this out though because we're likely going to need to get in under it though but we want to keep our footing here. And I'm just going to mark this. It is right there. Yeah, you can't be... Okay. I'm going to have to watch that. See if we can... I don't want to go... Oh, yeah. I don't want to go... Okay, so we can just stand here. Okay, that's going to be helpful. Okay. Now what? Where's our next one? We don't have any on the far left. So we have these three are probably the, uh, I guess not. Those These ones in the compound are definitely closer together. And then we can just speed off here into the boat. So what else is available to us? We know we have a dump truck and stuff here. We've got some propane tanks. Okay. This is above the player. These are all above us. Whereas these ones, I feel like we're pretty much all at the ground floor, no? Okay, so it actually, okay. Same level, five minutes, okay. Let's, we're gonna just quickly pop back over to this one and punch a hole where it is. I'm gonna have to see, maybe that Hummer is gonna be really good for us too, just cause it's got, uh, can't actually get in through that wall. Yep, 
use our shotgun. Uh, just in case we need that Hummer, I want to uh, destroy it. Are we able to grab it from here? We are. Awesome. So that should make it nice and easy. I'm just going to spray paint that it is right here. We can see our wires there too. Whoa. So nice and easy. So we know where we need to kind of hop out of the car. This thing is feeling fast and has no problem driving on grass. So this Hummer is going to be a beast down here. Hopefully we can kind of keep it together enough to uh, have it be amazing for this kind of terrain and just get us to where we need to go. So we'll pop around and hit these two quickly first. drive through the bushes because it's gonna damage me probably these ones look like they're right across from each other which is awesome are they both up top or one's on the floor and okay both are up top so that's helpful too got our sledge okay that's all concrete so you can see there's elevators up here that we can take might need to start using our planks. Looks like there's some valuables in here, maybe not. Yeah. 60 bucks for a vacuum. Okay. Let's get some propane tanks there. What was that? Nothing. Okay. Okay, how do we actually get up in this thing here? The elevator. Down, up. Oh god. Okay. Four hundred dollars. That's amazing. It's kind of nice. Can we operate this from inside? Yes. Okay, so that's pretty quick. But I still, we're not gonna want to use or waste all this time on an elevator, though. Okay. Getting some good cash in here all of a sudden. Oh yeah, gotta come to this guy's house more often. Where is this thing? Right here. Did we pass it? No, it's still higher than this even. Is this thing on the roof? How do we get up there then? Still go higher? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Gotta see what's on the others. I definitely don't care so much right now about how many uh, shotgun shells we're using because realistically it doesn't really matter um, if they're going to replenish every time we go back to our house. So that's not so bad at all. Okay, so this one is pretty high. I really don't want to have to take an elevator twice, so we might get our planks involved here. Because realistically, we can grab it from here. We really only need to get to this floor here. So I don't know how you set this up. Okay. Okay. Gotta get back up there. Because if we can make a plank there and then plank up top there, that would work out okay. I did not want that. How the hell did I put a plank there? And then I can't pick it up. Or can I? Oh god, I'm pulling the button out. Malfunction. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hit it twice and you just screwed on up, I think. Maybe not. No. Okay, where did we put this plank? Where did we put this? Right here. Okay. Oh my. You just go sliding off. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna try one more time and see if I can uh, hook up another plank to that. I'm not sure 100% if you can. You 
should be able to. I wasn't expecting to slide off the way I did, so. Okay, get back up in here. Figure out where we're going again. Okay. So let's get this started a little smoother here. Like, I don't want it to go there. What is that? Do I have to build? Maybe I have to build the other way. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh god. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I have to... Okay. Let's go get that dump truck. Let's go get that dump truck. Where is that? Because what we're going to do is I'll just turn its bed up. We'll use it like a ramp. I think that'll be a really good idea. So it's just behind us here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I just don't want to damage this thing if we're going to need it to grab everything in the uh, bottom part of this map. Did I pass that? I did. This thing is fast and it's got off-road tires. So helpful. Okay. So we're going to raise the bed once we get to where we need to go here. So I think that's just right outside. This might even honestly give us like enough of a ramp. But obviously that's gonna be pretty steep. It's gonna be a pretty hard to sell. But I wonder with this, even if we were able to connect to here, I wonder what that looks like. Okay, so that's a little steep. Now I'm regretting using those planks how I did. It sucks though that once you start building with this, you're kind of, okay. So we have to get up there. So. How does that go? It's hard to tell at what angle you have these built at. Ooh, and it teeters. Did I lose that? No. Okay. Get a wheel off that. I gotta get a little better angle for this plank. Because that's not going to work, is it? Committed now. Okay. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. Oh. Okay. I don't want this to fall through the window, so... Gotta be kind of careful here. Where do we need to, we gotta get up there. Oh God. Okay. I wish you could pick these planks up, but you can't because I wasted so many trying to figure out how to use them. That's pretty janky, but we have that set up now. <sighs> okay. Honestly, probably didn't even need to do that. Because if we, s yeah, I don't know actually. We might start at 
this one. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to plan this out. Maybe it makes the most sense. We'll start at this one. Ping pong to here. Ping pong to here. Shoot up through the garage. Go to here. Go to here. It's tough. There's a lot. There's a lot. But let's see. What is in this next one here? Ding dong. Okay, open the door, man. Where is this thing? Okay. Valuables, valuables, valuables. No. Okay. Let's see where we are. Let's use our shotgun. Where is this? Right there. Hmm. How tall is that cement truck, do we think? Because really, I don't want to disconnect this. Okay, that was close. But really, if I could make a plank there, I might even be able to get that. Let's see if we can get up here. Wow. Okay. It's going to be very important that we make that jump because all of that basically hinders on this. Oh, it just keeps getting lower. Okay. We might not need that. Really stupid that you can't reposition planks. Treat that as stairs. Okay, that's easy enough. And honestly, with this, I'll just walk right through. There's no opening a plank up. I'll not just put this here so you can just easily walk through. But that's easy enough. Get that. So that'll be pretty not bad. That one's gonna be the hardest one, I think. Obviously we don't know what this one at the gate looks like, so let's have a quick look at this one, and then we have at least an idea of what everything looks like, and we can kind of start putting an actual plan together. It's been about a half an hour of assessing out the scene here. Actually, I guess not, because we did do that first destruction mission too. Let's open this door and see what we got in here. Okay. Hmm. So none of these we can really separate to make closer at this point. Like we basically just have to make do. Which is fine. I would imagine our best bet, as I mentioned, We know how fast that red car is. What's this? Here's the Lambo. That thing is a ripper. So we can have this positioned outside the garage just for that straight line. As soon as actually we could put it here because as soon as we get through the grass, this thing can just rip up the pavement. That'd be pretty nice. And then cut across the lawn here. That could be pretty helpful. I'll just shoot through the wall. Skeet on by this thing. Okay, let's try that. Make this easy to grab. Whoa. No, 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 no. Oh god, we gotta do that all over again, I think. That sucks. That sucks. Okay, well we have a good lay of the land. Honestly, that gives me a chance to re... re 
uh, replace some of those planks and stuff that we basically wasted. Got a pretty good idea of what we need to do at this point. The cement truck is considerably tall though too, so that will help us actually. The biggest setup really is just here, so let's see how we can get this to go. Oh, this thing has a bed too, eh? Oh, it just turns the... Okay. Let's see. Probably can jump that. I wouldn't imagine. Would not imagine. What's the other really tall one? This one? This one's below player. That one's below player. This one's below player. Oh, yeah. I wonder, though, if we could get away from I don't remember if that one is on like the second level because we can't jump this right this is the only reason why it would be good is if we could jump oh yeah we can't even really climb that all that easily it could be good if we had a plank there that'd be pretty good maybe we can do that make use of this because I don't remember really that other one being all that tall in the lower area, so let's try this then. Let's try a plank. Really weird um, positioning this thing. Because, like, I know what I want to do with it, but I don't know if that's going to be much of an angle. That's like going straight up. Be a lot help, more helpful if you could put in a ladder in this game. Because it's hard to know, like with this net, exactly what you're looking at. Like that's probably too far under. Yeah, that's like straight up. I can't do anything with that. Can't do anything with that. But it really makes no sense that you can't use these after. You can drag and adjust. But once it's basically set, it's set. Now it's just bugged. That's the one complaint I have about that. Okay, we were able to do this last time without a cement truck, so let's not bother. I'm going to see really quickly, though. If there's anything that we can use this for. I would say very likely no. Okay. Let's get this dump truck set up. Let's do this because this is what's going to take the longest. Get this dump truck set. One thing, too, we are going to need to know. Actually, maybe it makes more sense because we've got a bit more of a landing part here instead of just a duct. We might lose a second or two, but it's probably going to be an easier jump to make if we can make it onto this. And we don't really need to bridge any gap, but I don't remember where that... Uh, let's see if we can get that going. this look like let's see what the hell okay that's not what I wanted but that works there's this painting this one's up one more level and this one's right here, I think. Okay, so that's a better setup right now. How did the mean jump? 
shop right here either. Yeah, Take the rest of this glass out. Just trim our angles, save even more time there. Just gonna mark the back of this bad boy so when we're jumping we know exactly what we're aiming for. It is pretty easy to see, but again, just to make sure. Like we can grab it from here even, which is really nice, so shouldn't need to be bang on for that, but that's good. Okay. Just a marker for where we want to land here. Again, with this, we're going to need to just make sure that our jump is on point. Just hit these corners. And this ledge, basically. Again, all pretty self-explanatory, but... Whoa. Okay. Yeah, okay. That'll work fine. <sighs> the biggest thing is going to be... How can we keep this dump truck positioned here? Because we're going to need to essentially do this twice. Unless... Because we know that other painting's up on that second level. I just don't know exactly where. So let's see first where that is. Like, it's kind of nice because there's an elevator right here. Pop in here real quick. Open the friggin' door. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now let's just shoddy this one out. I should be like quick saving every time I do this. So, so we're gonna do that as soon as we actually. I'm just gonna do that now. Quick save. Okay. So I'm going to paint where this one is, even though it's pretty obvious again. Okay. want to get it so we can grab it from here. We don't need to be inside there. We can get it from here. Right here. Nice and yellow. So we got to get a plank up to this area here. We don't need to jump up again, but we do need to get from here. Just don't know if it'd be, I guess at this point, are we, we're like basically right in the middle of both beams. So we might as well see if we can utilize this again. I just don't know. The easiest way to do that is. Like, is there anything in here that we can jump on and just blow this out and run across here? Cause that would be really, really easy. Can we move chairs? can uh, okay can't really oh you can do tables oh I didn't know that you can make your own like staircase this is gonna be way better than the planks because we just need to basically get on top of this walkway that's my whole idea right now make our own stairs can't lift this that high though. There we go. Awesome. I need like, oh, we gotta get like right up here. Getting close. Of course I can pick up this billiard table. Whoa. If I can angle this bad boy as like a ramp. Of course it's gonna stick. Oh my god. Sorry everybody. No pool tonight. Whoa, that's disorienting. Oh man. Is that disjointed thing? That could maybe work. Um that's underneath, right? Yeah. We still gotta get a little taller. This maybe is where a plank could come in handy. Because it could be pretty easy to swipe that painting right there. 
come up here. We know we need to get up. Okay, what the heck just happened? Stuff fell through the table. Wow, what a pile of garbage. We need to get up there though, so let's see. Can we do a plank? Would that work? I would love to bridge that gap. That's pretty steep. But that works. That is rancid, but it works. Okay. We would come in here, just so I'm not too stupid in the moment and forget. Go up here come up our plank and then just shoot across and we should be fine. I'm gonna quick save just in case this debris falls over when I try this again. I don't wanna try it too many times in case it's gonna keep shifting stuff. This plank I'm hoping stays. I'm gonna need to kinda get some good momentum. Probably gonna need to blow that out too, but maybe not. Um, this glass is kinda hard to see, so I'm gonna spray the ledge just so we know where it is. Cause it is kinda hard to see. Then obviously with this, we'll just make our way through here, quickly scoop, and boom. That's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. We really only need to make use of that one plank. Hop in. Ooh. At that point, we could probably just bucket up to this window. It's probably even easier. Yeah, let's try that. Probably even easier. What? I'm gonna drive this a little closer. Whoa. Try that. I'm gonna park this right in behind the dump truck too, because trying to jump onto that ledge is annoying. Try that though. stuck in the floor here. I don't want to... Do I? Can I just use the gun to blow out a small chunk of that? That might work. Okay. That's better. That's easier. So then we don't have to mess around with that at all. That's helpful. Plus it sh should sh shave a couple of seconds. We can essentially launch right into this one. Launch up here. Wow. You're gonna need to adjust that too. I'm gonna need some room when I'm making that jump. Last shot. Okay. That should be better. I was hesitant about shooting that because I didn't want it to screw our planks and stuff up, but okay, I gotta remember, I gotta jump this plank too because it's not, whoa. I don't know why we weren't able to make that. This isn't gonna work if we can't make this every time. All of a sudden we're getting snagged. Something else is hitting us now. What is hitting me? How's that go? That's better, okay. Quick save that. That should work now. Okay, one, two. So that's pretty easy. I'm gonna just drive this around really quickly. Here, because we should, I think, come at this one from the back. I honestly don't remember how I was planning on trying to do this. Either way though, go here, that should give us more than enough room. Okay, quick save. Okay, so that's the hardest part right there. These other ones are just primarily for speed. 
So we can set this up in a couple of different ways. Again, with doing that getaway car or uh, car wash mission, we have a pretty good idea of what cars are the fastest ones just based on what we can see on the map here. So that's gonna help um, quite a bit. Uh, we don't have anything in this, right? No. So I wanna use the Hummer to cut across the grass of the track, but right now we're just gonna use this to get us down there. We know, I don't really, I don't really care if we damage this one, but I do want to just make it down there. Uh, we know we're not going to be using this one now, so I don't really care what happens. But we want the Hummer to take us across all of the, um, all of the grass. So, I guess realistically, we probably don't need to, uh, probably just blow this wall out. Actually, I probably don't even really need to do that. Because if we just park this Hummer here. This garage will open. Boom. Boom. Okay, well, I don't want it. So we're very likely going to start on this one because we can take the Hummer. We'll hit this painting. Take the Hummer. That's not a valuable. Okay. Take the Hummer. If we can follow this dirt path, we'll probably s save time. But we can't really do that because we're going to have to hit this one. Actually, we get, I guess we could still. If we follow the dirt path, go to here. I'm not sure if it makes more sense to grab this one and then go here and then boot across the grass, or if we take the dirt path down, come up to here, and then take the Lambo from here and shoot through the garage. We'll have to test that. But for right now, we're gonna just assume that we will take the dirt path. I'm just going to highlight that. I think this is the dirt path. I want to highlight this. Highlight this. Just so we know that there's some hazards there. Because again, we know in this map they're pretty hard to see. Just keep highlighting our dirt path here. Should be pretty good. It's really just those two kind of crappy spots. Okay. So this is the one where it is a little bit higher up. Not that hard to get to, but it is a little higher up. Is, okay, yeah, this is the one that's in the sauna. Okay. Use a sledgehammer because obviously it works pretty good on wood, being a light material. get out to pick this one up, but I don't think we really have a choice. Hmm. This charger is pretty good on the dirt, as, or on the grass as well, and really we only needed to get to here. We can try it. It's already set up here for us, so that's kind of nice. It's the only reason I'd be willing to try it. I'm going to just quick save. It's either going to work or we're going to have to take the... The only thing with the Hummer is I don't want to have to, like, get out and turn it around and stuff. So we'll have to see what's going to make the most sense. But right now, I'll probably just maybe blow a hole in this railing here to make it easy to just run off and take the car. And just highlight where we did this. Okay. And um, now 
we're gonna go to here. So let's just. I guess ideally we would get on the track as soon as possible. And take that to right here. can just take it right to here and we will be able to pick it up from the back. Just want to make sure that I don't drive my car through this tent. Realistically too, honestly, if we're finding that we're running pretty tight on time, we could just end up clearing this grass again. Um, but we'll have to see gonna clear this. Obviously everything's still gonna be staying. I just don't wanna get caught up on the wall or anything. Might be able to just blow our way through. We're gonna park the Lambo where it's gonna be best. For, um, we wanna be able to just give it a kind of straight shot here right through to the garage, so. Don't want the Lambo having a hard time with traction, so we're just going to park it um, after we get rid of all this grass here, we're just going to park it right here. And then that way we should be able to just straight shot right in through the garage, right in through here. I'm going to even just trim this off, make sure that there's no issues there. That's the Lambo we're gonna use. We're gonna go right through these garages. Um, yeah. Actually, I wanna see. I don't really know how it turns. We don't wanna wait for the doors and stuff to open, so we're just gonna blow them apart. Is there any propane in here? Yeah, there is. Okay. Great. Basically just gonna do the same thing over here because I don't want to wait for these garages. Whoa, what happened? Okay, as long as that's still fine to drive. Gonna start on this. Not really sure why that's all on fire, but sure that we don't get the fire department called on us. Okay, that's probably fine. I'm not really too concerned about any of that. I'm not sure whether it's cool the pavement. This thing's amazing when you can keep it straight. That's going to be a problem, though. I do not want that clipping us. Okay, that should be fine. Yeah, I do not want that to clip us. So we're just going to essentially take this all the way straight through. We're going to take this all the way up. The one bad part is that. We're gonna clear all of this. Yeah. I just want a straight shot. And I also want to know if it's possible to be painting up inside the car. Because if we don't have to get out, that'd be awesome too. I just don't know if that's possible. So one more shotgun shot. Just make it count. Take out that old chunk. 
So I'm going to want to, as soon as we get to the top of the garage, where'd that car go? Start clearing this grass. I wish you could pull this. No! I don't know where we saved. Okay, not terrible. That's crappy though. I ended up knocking into that wire. Wow. Okay, okay. So as you can see, really a lot of planning does go into this. But when you have a minute, it gets insane. Okay, so we know we can get that. Right here. Boom. Okay. We'll have the Lambo parked right out front here. I want to get rid of this wall. So I want a straight shot through the garage. Have a turn. Nothing. We're gonna park the Lambo right here. Just gonna use that red car outside the garage for right now to get around. Because then we can at least get this part set up and then I'll quick save. Want to make sure that we're not digging down too, too much either. I really want to just get the grass and stuff out of the way so that the car can have traction. Okay, well, whatever. Even if we get the dirt out of the way, I guess it's not the end of the world. So let's set this car up right now. I guess, too, we can test our theory as to whether or not we can pick up the painting from the car. So again, the idea is just straight shot right into the garage, pretty much. Don't want to have to turn with this car if we don't have to. Want to make sure that we can get all of our traction. Going to just spray this, even though it's very clear, very evident where we're going. Let's make it super easy. And we need to blow this apart. Again, I'm really only concerned sides. You just don't want to run into the metal bar. I don't remember if the rest of this was yeah, that is sludgeable. Okay, awesome. Now I don't know if that's gonna present an issue in us driving through that. We'll have to test. But And then hopefully with this, hopefully with this too, we're able to keep yeah this concrete floor is intact now. So that might have actually been a better thing for us. Just want this door to be severed, just in case it is still opening and closing. Come go time here. It's just my thinking. Don't know if it's gonna make a difference. Now with this, I get a different opportunity then too, because, okay, I don't want that. That's gonna go. Okay, but I'm gonna take this car. Again, we know we're shooting through the garage here, that's the plan. I wanna now be able to, if at all possible, just straight shot through to our uh, house thing there. So, wall apart. Have to get rid of this grass just so we have we don't lose our traction. 
might end up getting caught up on the stones here anyways. Honestly, that little trim probably isn't going to do too, too much. But I just want to make it super easy. That car is so fast if you can keep it in a straight line. So that's the mentality of doing what we're doing right now. Doing this a little kind of additional tweaks. But... Could maybe even get away with bringing one of those fast red cars up here too. And just park it there. If we can make the easy transition, then we don't even need to turn. This too, I'd rather give us a kind of wider field here to play with than we might necessarily need. So I'm just going to continue clearing a decent sized path here to make sure that we're all good. Probably pretty boring this part here. Cutting the grass with my sledgehammer, but it needs to be done because, like I said, if you've seen any of our previous episodes, specifically, I want to say it was the third one where we do uh, the car wash mission. The grass seriously impedes your car's ability to get traction. So I'm gonna just follow up on one path here just to. Uh, I don't know if I knocked that painting off the wall already or what that was, but... Okay. I do wish you could hold this though. I wonder if there's an option to all of that. I get why they don't let you also, because it would be a pain if you overshoot what you were trying to do, but in some instances like this. Okay, that's a pretty good, pretty good road. Make sure we can still get a good start on it. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Just gonna quick save here. Make sure we still have room to get to the side here too. Okay. Now I'm gonna blow this wall out. And then we can just get back on the road. ended up having a lot more shotgun ammo this time, so I don't know exactly what we did differently, but again, with this, all I'm trying to do is make sure that we have enough room and don't have to worry about turning on a dime, because these cars do not have that kind of control, or I don't have that kind of control with them, I'm not honestly quite sure which. Pretty good. Still need the shot to blow this apart though. Where's that painting? Oh my. Okay, don't know how that happened. Okay, that one's gonna be a little harder to get now than it was. We can still pick it up from here. Oh, so I'm gonna just mark that we can get it from here. You gotta be looking at it though. We just have to watch. All oh, this rubble is going to be a pain, I think. That's not going to be helpful either, though. Shooting a hole in the concrete. But if we can do this, we're also going to need to mark our path out, though. So ideally... Okay, well, that's a little... I'm not too worried about having a straight line here, a diagonal line, because we know we're going to have to pick up the painting. Again, there's probably going to be some little adjustments, tweaks and stuff that we're going to need to make after doing this run once or twice, but just to kind of get a general lay of the land here, this is my plan. Boom. Okay, so that car's already lined up. Now, ideally, we're going to take the Lambo all the way through here, but we might have to. It might make more sense once we get to the top of this to have another car laying in wait. Not this one, this one sucks. Okay, so that's that. Now, obviously, we're just going to follow the road around, but we need to make sure we can get down here safely. Like, ideally, I would love to take a car off the cliff and uh, 
see where we, if we can fast transition with the boat here. Good thing, try and get that debris out of the way now. And we're not gonna have time to wait for that gate, so another good thing to kind of clear up. So we can see the boat. We know the boat's there. We're not gonna want these trees. We don't want to crash into the boat. I don't really know what our escape is going to actually look like, so... I just want to... Anywhere probably between these posts is fine. It's just... I don't know if we're going to have to get out and walk. I don't know if we're going to have the option to kind of quick transition from the car to the boat. I'm not sure what this is going to look like. Not sure at all. So let's just mark our thing here. Really, any way we go here, we should be fine, but that's going to be pretty dicey. Okay. I'm going to quick save right now. And we are going to go to our starting point. We've got our Hummer set up here. We've got our Charger to go to here. We've got our Lambo set up here. The Lambo is going to take us through to here. Oh god, yeah, right. I forgot we need this, though. At what point does it make sense to get those? That's a lot of ground to cover. That is a lot of ground to cover. I forgot. Wow. With this, we almost might need to go straight up through here, too. <laughs> um, we might need to start here. Let's see what this looks like. We might need to start on these two, though. I totally forgot about these. So if we do that and shoot straight to that garage, it's possible. It's totally possible. Get a fast enough car and clear this grass. We'll just hop off here. It's basically what we would need to do. This is almost right in line. Can we get rid of these rocks though or no? Pipe bomb? No. That's just static. Weird. But we can get rid of this. Okay, you can't get rid of the steel, I don't think. Alright, that's good to know. So we basically have to have the car lined up right beside, ready to go. Okay, that's not impossible. It's just a little bit more work than I was expecting at this point. We're gonna just clear all the grass here, but I think that's the only way that really makes sense to do it. We've got a lot of grass to clear. If we wanna use our fastest cars. Clear all this grass. We're basically going to clear it all the way back to that blue car. We're going to rip right up the side of the statue. We're going to sub that blue car out. There's no real point to have that. We're going to put our red car in. We can just use that to hop in. And then as soon as we hop out the window, we'll be able to just motor in that red car. We'll have to get it. I'll we'll have to steal one from the garage. But... a lot from playing on this map the last time. That it is a big area to cover and this grass is an absolute pain. There is a lot of grass to clear. I 
wish the blowtorch came more in handy for the grass. I would single hand to reuse it for that. Let's see here. Again, we're gonna just sub out this blue car. Once we get to that point. And we'll put in our red one, but I'm hoping that this is gonna be enough of a roadway here. Again, like I could be just shaving mere seconds, just to shave mere seconds. You never really know the kind of tweaks and adjustments you're going to need to make. I just keep thinking about ways to make our initial run much more efficient, so I'm just trying to do that before we get in too far and uh, start over. Again, like in this one, even to steal, even to need to steal four would not be easy. But because we're trying to do all of the objectives, that means stealing six, you really truly do need to cover a lot of ground in this map. I am hoping that that is going to be enough. But our plan is going to be to shoot off this. Now I don't know if we're going to get enough of a good jump. I don't know if that's just going to demolish the car. But we'll see. got to get this out of the way. There's our blue car. As I said before, we're gonna get rid of this. Actually, I should just, I'm just gonna take it all the way down. So we're gonna get our red car. We're gonna get our red car just because it's fast. Pretty good test. Okay, so we get a little bit of a jump there. Okay. Well, this is what we want. Either one of these, they are the same. But again, from that getaway mission, we know they're fast, so. Okay, so, we gotta get it up this ramp without damaging the ramp. I don't care so much about the car, but you can see, like, we're just chewing apart the cool. Just chewing apart the concrete. Oh my. You can see, like, it is not very easy to turn. That's not good. I need to use this cement truck <laughs> all of a sudden to back this thing off the ramp, which is very scary, but that is completely blocking what we're trying to do. I'm just going to steal that other red car at this point. Oh no! Okay. That's fine, honestly. That might help us. <laughs> as stupid as that is. I'm going to quick save right now because I can't afford anything else bad to happen, but this might just let us know <laughs> that we're taking this angle. That car's messed. It's a good thing they gave us two in this. Let's see what this one looks like now. I just have to get it up that ramp safely. I like how this guy didn't learn from having his car stolen before. They were hooked up to wires before and now, okay, we can't get it up that way. We're gonna just go through the garage. Look at how fast this car is though. I wonder if this car is faster than the Lambo even. But either way, it's probably good because we're still going to need a lot of ground. Or we're still going to need to cover a lot of ground, so. Now, where am I actually? You can see, actually it doesn't even feel that bad on grass. But we were having a tough time the other day with that kind of stuff, so I don't even want to mess with it. I'm hoping I'm actually just going to make us a little bit of more of a runway here, just to be sure. Because I need to use the car to get into the truck bucket, but I also just want to make it that we don't 
really have to make any other adjustments. We just leave it parked and have it ready to go. That thing feels pretty ready. Okay. I think we're basically ready to try now. I just don't remember after all of this where we plan on starting. Do we start? I think we start here, yeah? Start here, shoot down, yeah. I think we have to. Okay. I think I quick, quick saved. Okay. But I'm going to start. Oh, that's the one nice thing, actually. Is we can start at the more complicated one. So we could. I don't even really need the bucket. Probably could have avoided avoided doing a lot of that. I don't know if it's gonna make more sense. I think, yeah. Oh. Okay, these jumps are gonna get pretty finicky. So if we can start on this one and just avoid that dump truck entirely, that's gonna be way better. So I'm just gonna position this completely straight because we're actually not gonna need to jump into that bucket now. For right now at least. I do want this in a spot though. Like when we come flying out of that window, we gotta be ready to go. So, I'll leave it there. Get up into this bucket just the one time. And then we'll quick save once we get outside this painting. Cause you can see like having to do these jumps a couple of times and having to rely on kind of the exact right angles and stuff. It's we're just clipping through that all of a sudden. That was not an issue before. Don't know what happened. That's a pain though. I just keep clipping through the floor. But again, like the nice part is we only have to do this once because after that, come on. After this, uh, we'll just be able to start from here. What the hell is the problem? We got there. Okay, let's quick save. Let's try this. Oh, that's already bad. That plank. That plank is annoying. Slipping off the side. Okay, whatever. At this point, I just want to see how close we get. Boom. I don't know how we got out of that. That's not good. That's not gonna work. Something got really weird there. We like popped out of the car. Come on. That truck came up out of nowhere. No! That's probably gonna be the slowest thing I'm gonna take, is just this finicky jump still. Because it's a hard thing to perfect with those planks. I get the idea of the planks, but they don't make it easy. I wonder if we could almost do a double plank there, that'd be better. Watch that drop. And probably I should clear those bushes. Because that's why I'm avoiding on the right side. I wouldn't have expected that to be an issue, but that's why that's what's making me not get a chance to get over, because I don't want to hit those either. So let's just get these guys out of the way. Actually I can just sledgehammer. Put 
down. Get rid of all this here. Okay. Now, so long as we don't get burned on that concrete, we should be okay. So let's try and get back up here again somehow. No! Wrong thing. Quick load. Damn freaking quick load. Okay, I'm just gonna shotgun this. No, I don't want to. Just in case we have to make other adjustments. We only have four shots left, so I wanna make sure we're gonna be good. At least with this, if it's sledgehammerable, I wanna just sledge it. And try not to hit the concrete this time too, so that's gonna be a pain. If we get snagged in the stone, just try and make it that we're just hitting this uh, brush. Tough though, because I don't want to get stuck on the leaf debris either. Get this out of our laneway. Okay. Gone. This gone. Hopefully that works. Try this again. We had to do this jump a lot. This would kill me. This was very, very imperfect. Okay, quick save this time. Let's go. Okay, got really lucky there. Didn't get so lucky there. Yeah, this works. This oh, I still hit something truck is going to be all of a sudden not in a very good space. Okay, so I know kind of the angle that we have to do there. I'm really hoping that this truck is going to be good. I just want to see how close we get. This truck is a pain. Yeah, it's not going to work. Oh! Go shoot its wheels off or something. Because that's not going to work. It takes up too much room. If we can blow its wheels off, we might be okay. But. You can. Of course you can. I don't know what to do about that. kind of have to subconsciously or kind of I guess just try and hit that on the right side as much as possible at this point if we don't get it this time I'm gonna just try and shoddy that side of the wall maybe instead of trying to shoot its wheels off getting just plunged some I think the curb or something we're hitting the curb and it's just plunging us into the wheel I don't think you can flatten that curb though maybe you can I don't know if that's gonna that's probably gonna hurt us but we'll try it again that doesn't work I'm going to just try and shoot out the rest of that wall we have four shotgun shots we got to make them count oh. okay I just want to see if we can get through this or how far we can get unless we bury the car Be able to hit that wall, no problem. Okay, and you 
can't pick these paintings up from the vehicle. And now I'm not even in the car. Yeah, we're not even close. I don't even know, honestly. I mean, even if everything went smooth there, we were quite a bit off. We had to get our last, well, we had to get our last one. I think we're honestly gonna need to come up through here. But that would mean crossing the pool. And that's not gonna work. a tough one guys Lot of different vehicles that you're able to make use of, which is awesome, but yeah, my initial plan like you can't even do that because I was thinking, I mean, if we could cut in straight through here and just shoot up the middle, but you can't, you would not be able to. You almost have to not start here. You almost have to start on one of these and do these last. Shoot out here, have a car waiting and shoot out the side. I think that probably makes more sense. So we could get away with this setup, but we have to adjust what we're doing here. So you'd have to get into, like that wouldn't be impossible. It would not be impossible. It's gonna be a little crappy though that we're stuck with no weapon, or uh, no shoddy. We just have to blow through that other side of the wall. We would need to use this dump truck to get up. So we would go here to here to here. Get this one, this one, this one, and shoot out the side. You'd need to. Ooh, that's tough. Cause you need it's all the way up in the third. I guess really though we have the same. Okay, let's try this. face this way because we be coming from there. Oh, don't you dare. I need to 
find a way. Yeah, it's tough because we gotta get to the third floor. How the heck did we do that on this side? is tough. I think I have an idea though. That's too steep. Like, if we use the rocks here, it's pretty steep. If we use the rocks, we could essentially get to here. And then there was that backhoe, too. Where's that? All the way over here. But I wonder if we could line the bucket, the bucket up. That might be our best way to do that because realistically we could just run along this arm. I wish I thought of that before. It's kind of hard to climb. Shovel, break, spear. That's actually pretty good. Like, this is gonna take us forever to get up there, but. Good work. I don't know if we're gonna lose our arm on this. It's gonna take a long time. But this should help us with our ramp issue. Should help us with our ramp. Which would be absolutely huge. Better at this point. Okay, relax. We're getting there, we're getting there. This is brutal though. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. So far so good. Might not have even needed that bucket. Now what? 
that was my thought. comes down a little bit we could get in there but that still only gets us to the second floor well, unless we can use a plank here I still do not like the way planks work in this game that's not gonna do a damn thing is it Okay. Might work. Really don't like the idea of having to rely on planks and missing floors. As it hasn't worked so well before. But it might be our only shot. Like, I'm not gonna make it the way that we've been doing it, so... I'm gonna quick save. Worst case, we don't get it on this one, but we will definitely come back with a vengeance. Uh, in the next episode here. So let me just quickly see. <sighs> okay. So our red car, we can just flip. Oh, I should not have used the shotgun there. Okay, so we're going to need to pop out here and come down through here. Scoop this. Oh, okay, this is just glass. Okay. Okay. We have the red car waiting like here for us. We don't have to go too far. This is gonna be... Okay, what do you think? We started this one. Come shooting across, shooting across, boom. That's gonna be a lot. We're gonna have to drive perfectly. It's not impossible, but we're gonna have to drive pretty well. I just wanna see though, I wanna see if this is possible, how we have it set up. We're gonna get a really good idea because at this point I'm, I'm out of ideas. I don't know how to get all five. The one thing that it looks like, though, is that we're going to have to get out of these vehicles to pick up the painting, which absolutely sucks, but I already got stuck. This one's actually going to suck. I forgot. No, I don't want to be wedged up in there. Boom. Go, 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 go. Friggin' pain and go. Oh yeah, that's gonna be tough. I have to reposition that. Come on. Oh, I forgot what I was doing. Okay. Uh, we have to. Switch that. What else do we gotta do? This one's tough, everybody. This one's very tough. Okay. That's ready to go.
might need to clear that. Might need to clear that. And might need to clear this. Oh, that's what I had to do. I had to reposition. Might not even need the dump truck at this rate. These planks, uh, like I know realistically I'm not leaning them on anything so it makes total sense, but damn. Not sure I'm gonna have the materials to be able to do it this time. Well, that's not very realistic, but. Okay, I think I'm going to call this episode because I'm out of materials. This is going to be the first time that I have to do this, so it really kind of sucks. I really want to keep going on this, but I think we would have a much easier, much more efficient time doing it if I'm able to go back and upgrade our planks width um, because that would really help me kind of bridge this gap a little bit. Obviously, it sucks because we spent a lot of time doing our um, setup for this one here, but you can see that it is quite difficult, this one. Premise of it is simple, but we're just wasting our planks. Now that we have an idea of how planks work, we're just kind of wasting them. So I'm going to abort this mission. We could have restarted, but honestly, though, we're pretty far into this episode. I just want to see if we were able to. Did we. Okay, we do bring all that money back. That's super helpful. Let me just upgrade our planks here really quickly. Max length. Okay. So our width and the length now, too. Awesome. So. That was a lot of money to do all of that, but hopefully our planks are going to come in handy next time. You can see, like, we might have even been able to string together some planks um, through the rocks. It really doesn't help that you can't pick up the planks after you've used them, because, I mean, if we could reposition them, it would have been a little easier there. But again, we wasted a lot of time and materials on that one. So sorry for the unsuccessful setup on that one, guys. You can see kind of our brain was turning and really we were working out some of the finer details in this plan. But we definitely have a better way um, or a better thought, at least to a plan of attack. The next time we pick this one up, which will be tomorrow. Again, very much looking forward to trying this one again, and I promise next time we're going to get it. I know for sure we will. So hopefully you guys were still able to take something from this video. If you're still watching, truly appreciate it. Give this video a like. 
drop some comments, drop any questions and stuff that you might have about the game. Send us send us some kind regards because we're going to need some luck with this next one, but definitely feeling like we're going to be able to get it with all of the objectives. Again, on this map, it is very difficult just because it is quite large. There is a lot of ground to cover and you're needing to pick up six different objectives and escape all in under a minute. So you can't even, like at least with the cars, we were able to... Um, you know, kind of get rid of two of them before we even started. So we really only had to collect four in a minute. This one, we can't do anything like that. Um, we're needing to collect all six in under a minute and escape on time. So it's pretty tough considering how large that map is. Lots of ground to cover. So you really have to meticulously plan. Again, as you can see, we spent over an hour doing that and got nowhere, but Hopefully you guys were still able to take something from this video. You can subscribe to YouTube, um, Friendly Frenzy Games on YouTube, where we have a bunch more game content, helpful tips, tricks, and guides just like this one. See you in the next episode, everybody.